And Cuba, of course, the fantastic wrestling background of, uh, and, and guys who made it their name in MMA. Alexis Vila and Yoel Romero being two of those guys. And if those two guys striking is anything, if that's what we're going to see from Manuel Correa, then we're in for a show here from, from these two bantamweights. He said he doesn't know anything at all about his opponent, Alfred Leisure. <laughs> oh, that that's honestly, I was kind of wondering if, if I was to step into the cage, would I want to watch videotapes of my opponent? Would I want to do any type of research on them? Or would I just want to go in there, you know, let me do my training camp, let me do my fight camp, let me work on my weaknesses and work on my strengths. And when I get to the cage and see who I'm fighting, I'll adapt to what he, my opponent is doing. That's how I always kind of see myself fighting. Right, I believe I heard recently someone say that game plans are for weak fighters. A game plan is a, is a crutch because once that game plan, if that game plan doesn't work, then how are you going to win the fight? You go in there without a game plan, your game plan can't fail. Exactly. <laughs> that is right. I kind of like that. Uh, however, Greg Jackson of uh, Jackson MMA would uh, disagree with you on that. <laughs> yeah, they would disagree with you on that one. Uh, but no, I, 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 I agree with that wholeheartedly because, yeah, you can watch hours and hours of videotape on your opponent, but they might, you know, during their training camp, work on what you're noticing and be a completely different fighter when he comes out to fight. So, yeah, I, I don't like the whole, game, the whole idea of the game plan. Just go out there and do you, do your game, and do what you've been working on. With the game, <laughs> first fight camp. We're going to have to talk a little bit louder here as the fans, Alfred Leisure's fans here, are going absolutely crazy for the undefeated fighter, Columbus native. And you see his two kids here walking to the cage with him. He says plans always to keep it standing. He's been training with Ronnie Shoemaker, Luke Grant's bottom, all of his team at Grove City BJJ. And said, you know, he, he had an original opponent, lost his opponent, and really, you know, wasn't too confident that he was gonna be able to get a fight here. Glad he was, but he said it was a little, he, he admitted it was a little bit of a struggle in order to basically restart his fight camp on two weeks' notice. That's why I love Alfred Leisure. He's, he doesn't care. He does not care who he's fighting. His opponent can change multiple times like it has in the past because he'll step foot inside the cage regardless. Right, and if you saw Alfred's last fight here in this same building against Mac Mike Velasquez, one of the best fights I have ever seen. And of course, was awarded the IT Fight Series 2014 Fight of the Year. Of course, the IT Fight Series Media Outlet of the Year, Bluegrass MMA, but I think Alfred deserved his award more than Bluegrass MMA deserved their award. That's a lie, David, that's a lie. Bluegrass MMA deserves we didn't, everything that they get. We didn't have to get punched in the face to get ours, so. <laughs> uh, no, but we did take punches via the keyboard warriors out there on Facebook. That's true. Alfred getting his final coaching from his corner. He comes out to Limp Biscuit. Rolling, rolling. This should be a really interesting fight. I'm not sure, I, I can't remember Alfred ever really facing a true wrestler, especially not of the caliber of Manuel Correa. Very, very interesting fight. This will be good. I'm excited, David. I am, I am excited.
Chad Trukovic gives them their final instructions for this 135 pound professional title fight. Manuel Correa in the red, white, red and white. Alfred Leisure in the red, white, and blue. Um, maybe Rick Thomas was uh, foreshadowing something because he said Alfred Leisure was 4 0 as a pro, but in fact he's only 3 0 as a pro. Outside leg kick there from Alfred Leisure lands as we are joined by Aaron Garrett here at cage side. I know he wants a cage side seat for this one. Another leg kick. Interestingly enough, Alfred actually comes out orthodox. He normally fights Southpaw and Korea fighting Southpaw. Oh yeah, and what I mean, a lot of people don't know about Maniel is he actually wrestled for the Cuban national team. They do so. know that now, we told them. Oh, I, I missed that part, sorry. We told them several times already. Hey. Here. <laughs> but Korea, I'm American, so I don't. I, I I'm always late. Actually, the wrestler you know may actually be more comfortable. He may be a, a right-handed fighter, but maybe more comfortable with keeping that right foot forward. That's the wrestling style. You saw Matt Hughes actually fought that way, even though he was fought southpaw, even though he's right-handed. Filling each other out. It seems like it's getting a little bit more intense, little by little here. Oh, nice head kick attempt from Alfred Leisure, and he said that's the way he wants to finish this fight if. He could finish it any way that he chose. I like how Manuel is, uh, is very quick with the hands, you know, keeping them moving, not letting them stand still, always keeping Alfred uh, guessing what's coming. Yeah, and he may be just really using those hands to, to try to set up a shot, maybe get Alfred Leisure kind of put him to sleep a little bit by, by looking at his hands <laughs> so much and then shoot in. Leisure pumping out that little jab there. Really just a range finder at this point. Outside leg kick from Leisure lands. Oh, another, kick. another nice one from the Alfred. And that's against a guy who is the opposite stance as you. That right head kick should be there. As should the, the straight right hand. Interesting that Korea has not tried to shoot at all in this fight. Really hasn't thrown many strikes either. Oh, nice head kick there. That one, Korea got his hand up at the very last minute, but it looked like the toes did land as we heard the impact from that one. And Leisure is a really polished striker, a guy with an extensive kickboxing background and a guy who, has put it, who knows how to put it together inside the MMA cage. Little left hook there from Alfred Leisure. A little nice little Superman, short little Superman there. Yeah, and he has quick hands. I couldn't even tell that was a Superman punch. <laughs> it was like a switch Superman. It was actually pretty uh, pretty. I like it. Outside leg kick again from Leisure. We saw the damage that leg kicks can do in that last fight. Absolutely. And Leisure I, looking to change levels here maybe a little bit. I think Leisure's thrown more kicks than punches so far. <laughs> and Korea still really hasn't even thrown anything at all. Just really just def being defensive. And, Le and Leisure not, <laughs> not opening himself up very much. Outside leg kick here from Leisure. Another one lands. And you see Leisure throwing a lot of feints. Now Leisure switches to Southpaw. Showing Korea a different look. Oh, front, that kick. front kick, nice. Yeah, finally with the combo. Yeah, a little. Didn't connect, but he's finally thrown something. Worth mentioning. Interesting that he actually threw a little short left, straight, or short left, right hand combo. Led with his left hand there. Front kick there from Manuel Correa. As the pro Alfred Leisure crowd shows their support for the hometown boy here. Swinging right hand misses from Alfred Leisure. 
And Korea, I would say, is a counter striker, but not really throwing a lot of counter strikes. Just no, not really throwing a lot of anything. I wonder if it's, this is, must be a long filling out process. Straight left hand there from Korea, and a right hand from Leiser lands. There we go. And a left hand from Korea lands. And Alfred's the type of fighter who will take one to give one. Oh, absolutely. That's what I love about Alfred. He'll keep on coming, he keeping the pressure wins tight. He that right, that right kick up there. You could see him loading that up. The first round is over here in this professional main event. Without a doubt, that uh, that round goes to uh, Alfred Leisure there. The aggressor, landing more punches all around, dominate that first round. Yeah, and like I said, uh, just a feeling out process here from Manuel Correa with Timmy McCavitt in his corner. Korea pumping himself up here as Alfred gets instruction from his corner. I wonder what that's uh, like for Tim to kind of just be in there in the cage with them because they're obviously not training partners. <laughs> Uh, Manuel didn't have anybody come up with him from his camp. Yeah, he he doesn't even really speak that much English. He can he he can basically understand the the bare minimum of what's going on, but doesn't really speak that much English. So we're underway here in the second round. 135 pound professional title on the line here for IT Fight Series in the main event. Leisure pumping out that jab. Outside leg kick there from Leisure lands. Another outside leg kick from both guys. And Leisure, uh, you got to wonder if he's going to get a little bit comfortable here. And Korea didn't shoot, didn't even look like he was planning on shooting at all there in the first round. Nice inside leg kick from Manuel. You're right. I wonder if uh, Alfred is going to get comfortable. Maybe and, see if uh, he leave himself open. Yeah, maybe I want to see. Uh, that's what I was going to say. See if he opens himself up a little bit more here, because he was pretty tight there in the first round. Threw a lot of strikes and landed a lot of strikes, but really didn't open up much. Nice leg kick there from Leisure. Another one. And he. That's going to be a go 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 go. He's done. He taps out. That's over. Alfred Leisure. Wow, looks like Manuel taps out from the leg kicks. That's going to do wow. it, ladies and gentlemen. I Wow, I'm shocked still. Hey, be persistent with the strikes, specifically the leg kicks. That's two fights in a row, the co-main event and the main event now. Leg kicks win fights. <laughs> they, that they do. That they do. Ladies and gentlemen, Alfred Leisure is the new professional IT Fight Series Bantamweight Champion. And he improves his record to an impressive four wins, zero losses as a professional fighter and has yet to lose a fight in his entire amateur and professional career. Outstanding performance from Alfred Leisure. Did not let up one time during this fight. Kept the pressure tight. Kept it very aggressive, kept it moving forward the entire time. Well deserving of this uh, of the win and of this title. Now we're going to break time for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, that closes things up here at IT Fight Series 33 at the Stars Indoor Complex here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, me, Juan Valley, my co-host Dave McKinley, and of course the IT Fight Series family, we thank you for joining us tonight here, and we look forward to seeing you at IT Fight Series 34. 
We don't have an official announcement quite yet about the event, but tune in to bluegrassmma.com for all the news surrounding IT Fight Series and local MMA throughout the Midwest area. That includes Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, Western Pennsylvania. Check us all out 